Sheryl Crow single-handedly convinced Elon Musk that Tesla app needs some work. I'll tell you how she did it while we all of us couldn't uh, in just one second. So let's get going. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, that's perfectly fine. All you have to do is click on that subscribe button down there, so that way you won't miss anything moving forward, but most importantly, become a part of this amazing community. All right, so uh, when I needed, uh, you know, Tesla support, um, I spent over an hour on a phone uh, twice. But when I, well, and I, I figured out what my problem was, I wasn't a celebrity. When Sheryl Crow had a problem with her Tesla uh, and uh, tweeted it out, um, and uh, by the way, let me just uh, let me just show you the tweet. Um, you know, she said, "Help! Who knows what to do when your Tesla screen goes black um, and the rest doesn't work? Return it and get your money back?" Question mark. When she tweeted it out, Elon Musk went ahead and replied to her and offered his personal customer service. I'll 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 tell you what he did, but like, let me just. Let me just break uh, this one out uh, like uh, down on, on this one because you know I don't understand when people celebrities or not when they're having problems with their cars they take to social media like uh, how about the how about calling customer support like that's how it's done now granted customer support of Tesla can make you wait for a really long 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 time as I found out recently but nevertheless like how is this going to help so anyway. She tweets it out, and by the way, what is, what is up with return it and get your money back? No, how about you start like adulting, Cheryl, and just, you know, figure out how some things work in your car. Every car, every product has something that you may, may not like, some shortcoming, and you just have to figure it out. So, no, don't return it, figure it out. And you have a new BFF now to, to help you with that. All right, so here's what Elon says. He says, change your screen preference from night mode to auto. Now, that confused me because if your if her screen was completely black, and uh, I believe the screen preferences can be changed on the main screen. So I'm not really sure how you would do that. Um, because she said Tesla's screen goes black. I'm assuming she's she's talking about the main one. I don't know if you can change it in a in a in a smaller screen in front of you. So that I don't know. Now Elon said also uh, night mode with zero brightness is actually too dark during the day. This is ultimately ultimately our fault. Uh, we will update our software so that zero percent brightness is always usable relative to ambient conditions. Okay, first of all, not sure why you guys didn't figure that out at first. Uh, okay, okay, all right, all right. Before you jump down my throat, uh, but. I don't know how that happened. Uh, so then, um, oh yeah. So then she says, problem solved with that solution after getting to Tesla. Might I suggest adding some screen controls to the app so that you're not stuck when the screen goes black. Yeah, you know what? This is where Shell started to adult and actually uh, gave, gave some good advice to Elon. And I think a lot of us, uh, you know, can 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 get behind it. As a matter of fact, recently I had uh, a Matthew Pharma on my show, who right here, who who uh, recreated the Tesla app in his own way. He is a he is a, a UX designer, and I thought it was much better than uh, than Tesla's. And this is without really adding any extra controls. This is just whatever the Tesla app has right now with all of the features. So um, I I haven't heard from, you know back from him. So um, I'm not really sure if he got hired by Tesla or maybe someone else. I personally recommended them to Byton. So because I thought they could, they could use a great UX designer. So there's there's a lot of improvement. Now uh, the reply from Elon essentially told me that he might actually agree that essentially the Tesla app can use some work or as I call it sucks um, all right and I'll tell you what that tweet said and what it hopefully means for all of us uh, before that just a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton check out the m -Byte, the all-electric SUV available next year in the United States in Europe only $45,000 starting price and uh, I already have my reservation you should uh, go ahead and get yours it is free there's absolutely no money down you can go to byton.com or browse uh, to their reservation link in the description of this video and reserve yours okay so here's what Elon tweeted out back uh, at her and he's uh, totally agree Tesla phone app should have all controls that car center screen has 
So we are talking about center screen. Uh, so your phone can serve as a complete backup. Well, actually, it's not just about that. I mean, there's quite a few other things that I thought that the app should have. And I know they're being added little by little, but you know, the app has been around for what, five, six years with very minimal improvements. Um, and so I'm hoping that this is something that, uh, you know, maybe will trigger, you know, Elon showing up in whatever the little, you know, app department that they have somewhere in the dark corner and say, hey, guys, how about we make it better? And, you know, there is no reason why, no, you know, they wouldn't be able to get uh, uh, all of these features in the app. Um, w one of the features that I was missing for years and they finally updated that is where, you know, somebody gives you an address or you, you look up a restaurant and everything and then you have to kind of type it back into your uh, Tesla. There was a hack where you can put it on your calendar. and then, But now you can actually share it uh, from your phone to the car so by the time you get to the car it's there i love that like the, literally i use it almost every day but that was like five years overdue um, so i'm hoping this would be like a maybe a first step towards uh, actually uh, getting uh, getting it done uh and then she tweeted uh shell tweeted also for the haters i love my tesla and have a very few problems i got the basic mode nothing model nothing over overly fancy and it was cheaper than my minivan Two things, Cheryl, once again. Uh, what do you mean for the haters? I feel like you've enabled all of them when you originally said, oh, should I return this car and get my money back? You know, like, well, I'm, they're, they're, you've, you're an enabler of them. Um, secondly, um, I'm sorry, basic model of the car that you have still uh, is fancy. Like, even regular people, because I'm assuming you don't have a $35,000 Model 3, so I'm assuming you have a you know, probably 50,000 model, uh, model, uh, model 3 or Model S and Model X. That's fancy share. Like, come back to Earth, you know, please. Uh, and by the way, um, somebody said this recently. If it makes you happy, Cheryl, it can't be that bad. You know, it, 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 it escapes me who said that, but I'm sure it will come back to me later. All right. Well, let's uh, break this funny story down in the positives and the negatives as well. All right, so the you know I, I think the positive here, and and I think this is what I'm expecting, you know, and I'm really really hoping is that this is going to trigger uh, Elon to actually think, oh crap, we really need to get our app up to par, and and you know it, ha serving it as a backup is great, yeah, but I mean. I, I think there are quite a, I mean, you know, in, in the comment section, let me know what features you guys would love to have in your app. If you own Tesla, or even if you don't uh, own a Tesla, what are the features that you would love to have your app do for you, for your car? Um, I have a list myself, but uh, I'll leave it for now. Now, uh, the negative here is, you know, it kind of, um, you know, we were just talking with uh, Eli Burton yesterday with our, with, you know, we we're talking about this. You know, I, I, we all love when Elon tweets out and helps customers and stuff like that. But, you know, when one celebrity helps another celebrity, it really makes all of us kind of excluded. I mean, I told you in the beginning of the show that, you know, the common folk like me had to wait on hold for over an hour to get my problem solved. But, you know, if it's Sheryl Crow, boom, Elon Musk all of a sudden puts his little, you know, headset and goes... Customer service, how can I help you? You know, I, you know, it does it does sound a little elist, elitist, right? And I don't use that word very often, but uh, yeah. So I, I'm not really sure if we gave really good publicity or kind of a bad publicity where, you know, unless you're a celebrity, you're not going to get uh, much help from uh, uh, from uh, from Tesla. So, you know, just uh, just I'm just saying. Uh, but overall, I thought this story was uh, kind of funny. Um uh, by the way, uh, if you guys are not following me on uh, on Instagram, I got some interesting behind the scene footage and some funny stuff. So follow me there. Uh, everywhere on social media, it's uh, E4 Electric. Uh, and by the way, let me also uh, uh, thank one of my newer Patreons. Robert, thank you so much for uh, joining my Patreon community. The only uh, place where you can watch me live. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys, my Patreons, for supporting and contributing to this independent channel, which I now do uh, full time. So I appreciate that. All right. I am looking forward to your your comments i feel like this story has a lot to unpack um other than that i will see you guys next time and remember to stay charged